What's going on guys? Back with another video about the do's and don'ts of secondary essays. My name is Dr. Ryan Gray and I host the Pre-Med Years podcast and now have lots of fun videos here on YouTube. So don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe and hit that bell notification so that you can find out when more videos are coming out. All right, so let's talk about the do's and don'ts of secondary essays. I've done a couple videos now about secondary essays, why they're important and, and how to do research on the school's mission. But what about what you're writing about? What should you avoid? What should you put in? Let's start with the do's, right? Let's start with the good stuff. Here's what I want you to do. I want you to be authentic. That's the only way that you are going to stand out in this process. Don't sell yourself through this process by your hard work and your motivation and, and determination because every other student is trying to say the same thing. And you're not more hardworking than the next person. You're not more determined than the next person. You both are in this process together at the same point together. You're even. So be authentic. Right, it's a mix of a do and a don't in that first point. You really have to be authentic and be true to who you are. Your journey is unique to you. Where you grew up, who your parents are, who your friends are, who your grandparents are, where you went to elementary school, middle school, and high school, that is all unique to you. That's your journey. And that is how you stand out in your secondary essays and your personal statement in the whole process of applying to medical school. And showing who you are is the most important part of the whole application process and especially the secondary essays. Another important thing to understand, another important thing to do with your secondary essays is if there are any questions that want you to highlight weaknesses, then own them and be honest. Nobody is perfect. You have weaknesses. And medical schools want to see if you are humble enough to say, yes, I suck at something. Here's what I suck at. Let me tell you about it. Oh, by the way, I'm working on it. And a lot of questions will ask you what you're doing to work on weaknesses. But you have to be humble enough to show the schools that you have weaknesses. One of the important points that I tried to make in my personal statement book is show and don't tell. Now it's a very common writing technique and I want you to do the same thing in your secondary essays. If there's a question that you can answer with an anecdote from your life, with a story of something that happened in your life, do that and show it with your writing. Now a quick Google search will give you tons of examples on how to do that well. If you've read my personal statement book, I have a ton of examples in there as well. But show your journey. That will help engage the reader. That will suck them in to your story and who you are. And hopefully, will get them interested enough to invite you for an interview. All right, so let's talk about some of the things that you should avoid in writing your secondary essays. Now, I kind of talked about one of them, selling. Don't sell. You can say whatever you want, but it's your actions that speak louder than words. And they can see your activities and your GPA and your MCAT score. They can see that. And if you've gotten to this point, you've already shown them that you are motivated and dedicated and determined and resilient and all of that stuff. You don't need to sell that anymore than what everything else in your application is already showing them. Everything that you bring up in your application can come back to haunt you. If you are lying or stretching the truth in your activities, in your personal statement, and especially in your secondaries, if you are invited for an interview and your story doesn't match up with what you put in your secondaries, that can come back to haunt you. Now, a lot of schools will start verifying information in your application after an interview invite, potentially after an acceptance, at any point in this process. And if you start bringing up stuff that just doesn't make sense, they're gonna call you on it and they may put out a big red flag, not just for their school, but to every school in the application service. So be careful and just stay away from stretching the truth or lying or any sort of falsehoods in your application, period. Now, I talk about this a lot 
with the personal statement, right? The personal statement is personal to who you are. The same thing goes with secondary essays. You have to be authentic, right? One of my do's from earlier. And if you are trying to figure out what the reader, what the school wants to see, you are no longer being authentic. You have to tell your story. You cannot go through this process trying to figure out what they want or else you're not going to give them a story of your authenticity. You're not going to quote, stand out enough for them to want to invite you for an interview. You're gonna come off like a lot of the other students going through this process, trying to figure out what the school wants. Now a bonus tip for secondary essays, kind of the do's and don'ts. I get this question a ton. The secondary essay has an optional essay. Is there anything else you want to tell us? Now, here's a do fill it out, but it's also a don't. Don't fill it out, and that can be confusing, right? Fill it out if you truly have something to say. If there's some part of your story that hasn't really fit anywhere else, right? It hasn't fit into a disadvantaged essay for AMCAS. It doesn't fit in your personal statement because it's really not a part of your journey to medical school, but there's just something that didn't fit anywhere else, then write about it in that spot. But if you think that you've told your story in your primary application, the secondary prompts let you talk about everything else that you wanted to talk about, if you truly have nothing else to say, then don't write anything. It's okay to leave it blank. The worst thing that you can do is just fill it with fluff and you waste the reader's time. That'll just annoy them. <laughs> Their time is precious. They have a lot of applications to look at. So don't feel bad leaving those optional essays blank. All right, so I covered some do's and don'ts for you in this video. If you have any other do's and don'ts, leave a comment below. Let everyone else know what maybe you've heard out there, horror stories from other students. But hopefully this video was helpful. Remember we have the previous videos as well covering what secondary essays are, why they're important, how to start writing them, and much more. And how do you get more videos? Well, you hit that subscribe button and that bell notification to get notified when we have more videos coming out for you to watch.